Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Love Our Life Vlog. Today I wanted to do something that I haven't done in a while uh, since the theme parks are kind of crazy right now. Uh, yesterday, uh, Rise of the Resistance reached like a 280 minute max. Uh, Universal is crazy. I stopped by there just to see what that was looking like. And uh, we will go there tomorrow. But today, I wanted to do something we haven't done in a while and that's go to the Disney Character Warehouse here at the Orlando Premium Outlets here on International Drive, which is right across the street from Universal, where these double tree is right behind me. Uh, that is where Universal is right in between that. So I wanted to go in here and see what's new, see if they had any of the 50th anniversary merch. We talked about doing it the other day. So let's just go in here and see. I, I don't know if they do have anything like that, but you never know what kind of deals you're gonna find in here. So let's get inside. So come on and join me. right here and then there's the double tree over there and Universal's just on the other side of that but now let's head inside we are way not way in the back we're decent ways away but we're gonna get over here and go inside also I wanted to clear up that yesterday we did not go to the opening day of Tron light cycle run and uh, it's because I did not get a virtual queue so I didn't make a post about it yesterday but just in case you didn't see it, that's why we didn't go. Um, I've had the chance to ride it five times already, so I just really didn't see the need to go again. Um, but we will go this week and try to ride it again because they do have new merch and they did open the shop like last night after everybody left at like at seven o'clock. So we're gonna go do that sometime this week. So the outlet opens at 10 a.m. and I would suggest always getting here like when they open because parking is going to be pretty insane um, i'm parked way back there somewhere this is also the back parking lot but we should one day do a whole video on just the orlando premium outlets because there's a lot to do here including this new shop this used to be a uh, testing center for uh you know the crud that went on in the world uh but now they've switched it over to like a funko kind of like toy kind of thing it's pretty cool now i have been here several times since we've shot a video here it's just a lot of the same repeat merch so i didn't want to just keep filming the same thing over and over all right when you walk in they have a bunch of different toy to the world stuff here which was the christmas merchandise that they had like this here it's pretty cool and then the uh look at what this is exactly my little nutcracker thing. Oh, it's just a tin can, it's 99 cents. And these pillows are usually $34.99. They're actually $15 right now, so not bad. And they have some Hanukkah Mickeys here, which are $7.99, which is pretty cool. And right next to that, they have some of the Big Thunder Mountain ones, which are $9.99, and the Tiki Room, and then Small World, which I've gotten Angie this one. It seemed like she really liked it, but these are all $9.99 have plenty of them too. Oh, look at this Yoda Plus. This one's only $7.99. Not bad, that's pretty cool. You can get this like Galaxy's Edge as well. This is cool, $7.99. Now I really like these over at Galaxy's Edge. They're like wooden dolls, like they would have had like back in the old days. This one is uh, $9.99, originally $20. I'm gonna have to pick this up. This is pretty cool. I like that. The music is so loud in here, by the way. It's like a little too loud. Um, let's see what I can do. Look at this Skyliner little toy. This is pretty cool. With frozen characters on it. Um, originally, $19.99 is actually $7.99 right now. So not bad. That's awesome. I'm not really entirely sure what this is, but it looks like a like something you can hang stuff on. I mean, obviously, yeah. That's pretty cool. It'd be nice to have for my hats. $9.99 for this, originally $20. So a lot of things are $9.99 today. Now it looks like they have a Mickey headband here. This is the Big Thunder Mountain one. It's pretty cool. This is only $7.99, which is cool. It has the 50th logo on there. 
That is awesome. And they still have these bowl sets that they had last time. These are $15.99. Um, originally $34.99, so these haven't really changed in price much. Check out this rock and roller coaster mug. This is pretty cool. $7.99 for that. We just saw the new one at Hollywood Studios the other day. But look at that. Pretty cool. And then the actual, let me set it down, the actual handle itself. That's awesome. I love that. That's pretty cool. Underneath that, they have a Flubber 25th Anniversary Mug, $5.99. This is pretty cool. $25 on the back. That's awesome. Now, the Epcot Core Sickle Cups have finally made it here. And uh, they are $19.99, originally $40. So, I think it's still a little too much for me to pay, but at least it's about $20 off. So, that's kind of cool. Oh, look at this fleece throw. This is pretty cool. This one's $19.99, originally $40. Now, this is something I might have to pick up. You can see the image right here, what it looks like. So, it's like Spaceship Earth, kind of, ordeal with all the different Epcot colors. It's pretty cool. And the Epcot 40th Anniversary hat here, too. Just a cool bucket hat. $7.99 for this. I don't think I can pull these off, but if I could, I would totally get it. I have this Mickey Runaway Railway mug here, which is pretty cool. Goofy on the back there. It is $14.99, originally $22.99. The last Space Ranger water bottle. This is pretty cool. $12.99, originally $27.99. Got buds on it. That's really cool. And a Castaway K5K water bottle, $7.99. That's awesome. I need something like this to take to the park. Look at this Santa Claus card holder. This is cool. I love that. That's awesome. Rose Such a Clatter Company. How much is this? It says $24.99. Kind of cool. They have more of the kids, like um, spirit jerseys here. Um, these range around. $29.99 to $39.99 for this one. Look at this Hocus Pocus candy calls in here. This is pretty cool. Um, it says the original price was $34.99, but I think it's this. I think it's only $9.99, which is cool. Then next to that, they have the Groot one. Candy dispenser, not candy dispenser, but candy bowl. $7.99 for him. And they have this big one. The Oogie Boogie one, just cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is these boxes is for this one. I'm pretty sure. Look at this nameplate. Welcome, foolish mortals. $4.99 for this. Not bad at all. It's kind of cool. I had to get this, put it on my desk. Then an Oogie Boogie cup here. This is awesome with the dice here at the top. That's cool. $7.99 for this. That's pretty cool. I like that. Then the Hocus Pocus Corsicle Cup, too. $14.99. This is cool, man. See Corsicle on there? The top? Oh, man. I really like this. Look at this. Some Raftars from Galaxy's Edge. It's awesome. And this is $12.99 for this one. Originally $30, so a little more than half off. That's cool. Yeah. And I have this one too. I don't know how to say that. This one is $14.99. Uh, this is from Alpha. What is this from? It's not Avatar. Why am I blanking what this is from? I don't know, I'm gonna have to look it up. Look at this bag, this is pretty cool. One bite, just one bite. It's cool, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. This is uh, $14.99 for that. Look at this, a Snow White plush. You open it up, it's like an apple. There's Snow White on one side and the Evil Queen on the other. It's pretty cool. And for $9.99, Encanto Jaguar plush. That's awesome. And they do have different assortment of ears here. This is pretty cool. This is the Christmas ones over here. 
Here we have these. $14.99. And this one, Nightmare Before Christmas, these are $19.99. That's cool. And they do have some adult Christmas stuff here. Here is this long sleeve shirt. Uh, originally $49, it's $19.99. This goes all the way to 3X, so kind of cool. And this one right next to it, which is $14.99, not bad. That one goes to 3X as well. And then they have this spirit jersey kind of sweater. I don't know if this is official spirit jersey or not. I really like this one though. Um, price on that is $44.99. So it's still kind of high for a Christmas one. I'm surprised by that. And we saw this one at the parks a lot. This is the Toy Story one with the Sully arms. $24.99 for that one. That's cool though. And they do have some Christmas stockings here. The Sully one, $12.99. And Mike, $12.99 as well. That's cool. They have a mini one up here too. These are all $12.99. That's awesome. Look at this Madame Leota one. Dear sweet Leota, beloved by all in regions beyond now, but having a ball. That's cool, $12.99 for this one. And if you're curious, it opens here at the back. You can see the opening there. That's kind of cool. Oh, I didn't see this one. Now they have a stitch one. That's awesome. I love that. So they do have some 50th anniversary stuff here, but this is just the reusable bags. $1.50 for this one, which is the larger one and $1 for this one. They have plenty of them. So, I don't think they're gonna run out anytime soon. And look at this bag, this is awesome, with Luke's lightsaber on there. It's cool, I'm not really sure. I mean, I guess it's some kind of a wallet, obviously. But that's pretty cool. Shoot, I no wouldn't mind having something like that. That's nice, how much is this? Okay, price on that is $24.99. I just noticed this wreath, that's awesome. That's really cool. This is $14.99, pretty cool. Now while I saw a few things in there that I really liked, there was nothing in there that like totally grabbed me that I had to have today. Um, we, Angie and I always come back here all the time and just see, it's almost like a weekly or bi-weekly thing that we do just to see what's new here and what's going on. So. Overall, there were a few things in there that I'd like to have. Um, some of the things though, I still feel like are kind of overpriced, especially the Christmas stuff. Um, so we just wait, and then those blue bowls, I really want those blue bowls. I mean, I guess it's not that bad for $15. But um, yeah, so it's not really something that, there's not really anything in there that I have to have and will buy today, so. It's neat though to go in there and check it out and just see kind of what's new. But let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see us do more of these videos. And uh, cause I think that would be fun uh, to do these every once in a while. I enjoy doing them. It gets a little crowded in there. It was very crowded towards the end of filming. And I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna get out of here and go. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna head home now. I'm gonna go check out the dogs. We're gonna go say hello to the dogs today in the video. You guys haven't seen them in a while. So let's go home. Let's check out the dogs or hang out with the dogs. I don't know. It's just a whatever kind of day today. It's it's fun to do these. Also, once I get back to the house, I kind of want to do a gripe session about the whole Tron thing. So yeah, really quick, I'm back at the house and I just wanted to kind of talk about the whole Tron ordeal uh, from yesterday. So, um, you know, like I've said, I've had the chance to write it. Five times Angie's had the chance to write it. Twice, I think something like that um, so yesterday was more about going out to the theme park and to Magic Kingdom and to like experience the day ride the ride and just have fun all together um, when I didn't get the virtual queue at 7 um, because of my work schedule I was not able to go out at 1 and try it again because that could have placed me at like 4 or 5 o'clock and I just scheduled I, I couldn't do it. It just couldn't happen. Um, but I feel like uh, overall, um, once I didn't get that, I was just kind of like, eh, what's the point now? 
and not in like a rude kind of way because I know you guys want to see all that stuff and we're gonna take you guys there this weekend and show you everything and and all that kind of stuff but like I, I feel like um, there has to be a better system um, now usually on the virtual queues I always like have a pretty lucky time getting them every time on Cosmic Rewind seemed like it happened every time like I wouldn't even try try and I would get one um, but with Tron the, the problem is is that it's just this whole thing like um, there's so many people trying to get on it and trying to experience it and I just don't know if I don't know like that's where I'm at right now like I don't know how I feel about the virtual queue um, I, I know some friends of ours did not get in uh, a friend of mine paid money to go to Magic Kingdom even though he is an annual pass holder he paid money because there were no reservations available which that's a whole other conversation on its own uh, but he paid the money so he could get in it's just funny to me that you can be an annual pass holder and not have a reservation, but if you buy a ticket, you can get in. It just seems kind of backwards and messed up to me, but that's just me. Uh, he, he got in and he was not able to get the virtual queue. So that got me thinking, you know, my goodness, like, you know, people are spending all this money to go and not been able to ride the ride. And I do understand that if you open it up Without virtual queue, the wait would probably be about four, maybe five hours on opening day, maybe even longer. I know with Hagrid's, it was like an eight-hour wait, something like that. But I get it. Um, I know that they have virtual queues because they are trying to reduce the amount of people that are flooding in and the outcome and everything. Like they're just trying to reduce traffic to the area, all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, it really sucks for people who don't have a chance to go you know it really sucks for those who have not had a chance to even ride it or even come close to riding it uh, and wasting a whole day um, and money to ride a ride that they may or may not get a chance to ride that just seems crazy to me I understand the reasons why they do it I do get it I totally understand it um, even Universal utilized virtual queue for a while for Hagrid's and for mummy and I think they did Jimmy Fallon too uh, for a little while. So I get why it happens and why it has to happen, but it doesn't mean we have to like it. Like Guardians of the Galaxy still has a virtual queue. Just open that sucker up. I know it's so popular. I know that. But you know what? If I had one day on my vacation and I'm like, okay, this day I'm going to Epcot or this day I'm going to Magic Kingdom and I solely wanted to ride that ride that bad, I would stand in line. For as long as it took um the local me what but the guy that paid the money to come and to be there would have definitely paid the money to do that so that's my little rant on that um let me know down in the comments how you feel about it uh if you think it's fair if it's not fair um this is not in any way to bash disney whatsoever you guys know we love both parks we are switzerland when it comes to the parks you know we think both parks have their advantages one over the other and you know this that and vice versa whatever um we love both we feel like both parks can improve we feel both parks have things that are better so um it's not meant to attack disney in any uh, in any way i just feel like that there's some things that could be done differently it could be better uh, that they could do for this and uh and they didn't even open the shop yesterday like they had pop-up shops over to the side somewhere uh, and we'll discover all that when we go later this week. But still, it's just crazy to me, you know? It's crazy. So anyway, let me get inside the house. Let's say hello to the doggos. I know you guys have been uh, listening to me rant for like five minutes now. Let's get in and let's go talk to the doggos. Also, if you haven't noticed, we're trying to expand our brand, what we do and who we are. I'm really thinking about doing a video about the pros and cons of meeting or having a meeting of having a husky. And when I get home, look who is out. Hey, buddy. Ren, hey, buddy. Oh, buddy. oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I was telling everyone I'm thinking about 
doing a uh, bark and no bite, or not a bark and no bite, but a pros and cons of owning a husky video. Oh my gosh. What you doing, buddy, huh? 95% of this right here? No, 95% negative <laughs> no still, not still, 95 yes but we still love them the the one thing about Ren is he takes like half an hour to go to the bathroom oh my gosh forever see this is what he does he takes a half hour and he just looks and he just looks he's a good guard dog though I'll give him that yeah, yeah. did you see how he reacted to the Amazon guy I didn't see it. I just know that the Amazon guy started running away really fast. And he's not that big of a dog, like, but he's really strong too. Really strong. You gonna decide you're gonna go, buddy? Hey, Ren, look. Look. Look at the camera, look buddy. Look right here. Look right here, buddy. Tell me. Speak. Speak. <laughs> Good boy. He's always so distracted. Overall, though, they're great dogs. They really are. They're sweet, they're kind, they listen most of the time. <laughs> then they get stubborn sometimes, but, and, they, and they're lovers. They really love to love on you. So that's, we'll have to cover that in a video if I decide to do it. Let me know down in the comments about that. I know I keep saying go, go down in the comments, let me know. Let me know, because we're trying to broaden our horizons here. We're trying to expand our multiverse. <laughs> We still love theme parks. We'll still always do theme parks. We're trying to branch out though and expand our universe. Hi! <laughs> Hi! Hey girl. Hey sweet girl. You excited? Huh? She's like, uh. Hey girl. She is so ready to go to the bathroom though. She's like, I don't want to talk to you right now. You ready to go inside baby girl? Ready to go inside, see your brothers and sisters. Hey darling, oh goodness. Uh, now you wanna say hello to me, huh? Now you wanna say hello to me? Huh? <laughs> hey baby. Hey darling, what are you doing, huh? Oh goodness. She's excited now that I'm home. Hey Ren, what are you doing buddy? Chilling? Hmm? You chilling? You chilling? You chilling? You sniffing me? Oh goodness. Say I love you. Say I love you. Say I love you. Oh no, his little paws are getting the floor dirty, mommy. Yeah. Alright guys, so that was my day out of the Disney Character Warehouse. Giving you my thoughts on the Tron Virtual Queue and how they can improve it. And just coming home and showing you guys the dogs just chilling out for a little while. So, like I said, I'm trying to expand our universe here on the channel, I'm trying to do more things in, in Orlando and just have fun, just have a good time, love our life, get back to what it's about. So anyway, uh, don't worry, still gonna do theme park stuff. We're gonna do more stuff here in Orlando. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button and the notification bell so you know when our next video is coming out. And remember, the road goes ever on. I'll see you guys tomorrow.